Hello and welcome to the Game and Autopsy podcast. I'm Dad Cyan. Why are we doing this? Because it's normal. This is what we did at first when we first did a thing and it sounded so forced. I'm not doing it. It doesn't even wasn't forced though. It was I'm spat hackle tackle. I mean, you're not a spat hackle tackle. How's that for forced? No, that wasn't forced and that's not your name either. You've lied to the internet. I'm Jake Clark. And I'm Dan Cyan. Oh, is there way around that time? I'm Dan! I'm Double Dan! Because I've said my name twice now. What should our company name be, Dan? This um, is Game Dev Tycoon. Game Dev Tycoon. Floop de loop. Floop de loop. Player name. name should be the original love handle. It's a bit long. I don't want to type something that's long. I'm the lazy. Re- the original love handle, 1992. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if there's enough space there. Nope. The original love ha. The re- original love ha. That do. Should be a woman or a man. The woman looks hotter. <laughs> no. Huh? Why did you mess with it? No. Was that red. naked? No. Red. Let's go red. So, news and stuff. Oh, I'm so unprepared. Give me a minute, audience. Oh, yeah, this, this I'm going to unlock hints because I've played this and completed it before. It's a good game. Everyone should get it. All right, while I remember something that's not really... It's news-related, but it's not really news... That we didn't have a podcast about. last week. We didn't... Oh, that's a great point. We didn't have a podcast last week. Jake was on holiday. Yes. So, getting into something that happened last week... These the Steam doubly. Oh yeah, Steam sale. Um, there was there was sales. I've noticed that it seems to be the same crap on sale every, each time, more or less. What do you mean? There's new bits, but like always Hotline Miami. That's always on. Oh like, yeah, on sale. Do you mean on different sites? No, I mean Steam. The Steam summer sales always have the same like. Well, the way they do it is sale. like there's some things on sale all the way through, but sometimes those things will switch to daily deals or flash sales or community. I I, I realise how it works. It had, yeah. the, it had the daily deals each day, which changed each day. Then every three hours, there were flash sales that you could vote on to decide which bundle you had. They were themed into, like, um, retro point scoring games and some other shit. Um, but the daily deals generally were deals that have already happened before. So Hotline Miami, Super Meat Boy, those regular games that most people that are on Steam have. Not all of them, but most of them. Yeah. But that's my only point. It's not a bad thing. Just saying. I noticed that. There's never anything sort of more indie... That I, I would have liked if they'd sort of given some smaller things that had good reviews from the small amount of players that play it. Yeah. Putting those up. Yeah, something. might be good. Um, what should I name this game? Yeah. Oh, um, oh, let's pick a topping and a genre first, and then we'll choose. We've got sci-fi, zombies, horror, and cyberpunk at the moment. Let's go with horror. Okay, we've got a horror. And adventure goes well with horror, so see, it's a great combo. And the platform, shall we go for the... Let's see, this is the, the Commodore 64, but it's G64. I don't know why, because they changed the names of things. So they, they didn't change PC. the name of a PC. No, because it's just PC, isn't it? Uh, these are good for adventure games, we'll go with that. So, a horror adventure, what should we call it? Loop the Poop. I'd play that game. Would you? No. Um, so, did you buy anything Which amazing? You bought, or you... 2D graphics version 1. Oh, 2D graphics version 1. It's going to cost a lot, but okay. Um, so, for one thing, I think I bought this on the sale. You did buy this on the sale? Yes. And I did not. I was like, not looking for it. It looked pretty boring. But it doesn't look too bad at the moment. Um, I didn't buy a lot. You bought a lot, but I haven't played a lot. I bought Portal, Portal 2. Um, the the one with the goat. Goat Simulator. Yes. And uh, some other things, which I can't remember. Mag- Magic Kite. Magic Sight. Magic Sight, whatever. But that wasn't actually on the Steam Summer Sale. Wasn't it? That was its opening week sale. It was on sale during the Steam Summer Sale. So. Uh, it's also an alpha. Is it? It's ex- like it. It doesn't look like an alpha. It looks like it's a finished game. There are things that I need to add to it, like um, uh, different difficulties or a little bit more variation. And they are slowly phasing in new items to the game. But it doesn't look like an alpha. I was really surprised. And it's a good game. You should go check it out. Magic Yeah, It's it's a roguish game, I guess. Roguish. Mm, it's kind of roguish. Why does it keep giving me tutorials? I said I didn't want them, did I? Didn't I? Uh, you, uh, you said you didn't. Um, okay, really off topic, because I want to get it out of my head before I forget. Um, Stephen Mel, the guy that plays Arrow from... Uh, no, Oliver Queen from Arrow, the TV show, um, said that there were going to be some big things that he's taking part in over at Comic-Con, but didn't want to announce what they were. And this was other than the Arrow panel. So everyone in the fandom was like, oh my god, he's going to be in Batman vs. Superman and the Justice League film. And he put an announcement out saying, I will not be in the Batman vs. Superman film, but I appreciate your support. But never mentioned the Justice League film, so 
That could be pretty cool. Yeah. I think I saw something about that. It's, it's sparky rumors about who's going to be in it. Yeah, yeah. And what actors are going to play who. Exactly. But anyway... Like, the dude who plays Flash, I heard rumors that he's... Since, like, it's all drawn up, he might be in the Justice League thing. No, but they've also said they're trying to keep the TV series separate from the movie cinematic universe, so it's really confusing. But yes. See, that this is the whole game. Sliders. Later on, you have to, like, assign people things, like, because you build up, build up like, a game company type thing. And I put a bit more sound on that. But... Oh, so sound's got to be big. In a horror game. Oh, that's a good idea, yeah. I'm going to turn world design down a bit. So graphic down a bit. I mean, it's only, we've only got 2D graphics version 1. So we'll stay with that. I see these little boop the boops boop the boop boops She is booping all over the place. Yeah. Why does she have a car in her room? Oh, it's, this is her mum's basement. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm not going to press the finish button just yet. What news do you have? Uh, the, the Lindsay Lohan officially filed a lawsuit against Rockstar for using her likeness. Because before it was only a rumour. Oh, was it? I thought it was in uh, full. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, she actually is trying to sue Rockstar. Good luck with that. I mean, it's, they might do like a sort of... I mean, there's no warrant to it, but they might do an out-court settlement like, for like a bag of drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Have you seen her recently? Nope. Worse than Macaulay Culkin. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Actually, I'm not sure. I haven't seen Macaulay Culkin. Nope, the poop is ready! Yeah. Let's release the game. Oh, oh. Soon we get, like, reviews coming in. So, like... Game review. Right. Oh, loop the poop. Oh, oh, oh. Six, not bad for a first game. Okay, oh, okay. What a dude informed gamer. It's not that informed. Uninspiring. Oh, what the shit. That's like a... Adventure games work well on PC. Isn't that nice? So, yeah. Uh, you you really like this game. I do. I, I've completed it. Like, it got... It goes through, like, the actual generations of the consoles and it has one extra, like... It, there's the... What they call the Xbox is the M-Box, because of Microsoft, but it's not called Microsoft. Well, I can't remember what it's called. Mm. You can just open it. Just do it quick. Enjoy the 7-Up. 7-Up. Endorsed by 7-Up. Or the Coca-Cola company, I think. I'm not sure if that's Coca-Cola or Pepsi. I think it's Coca-Cola. We made it into the charts at 98. That's, we're at least we're in the top 100. Yeah. That's not bad. And then again, there's probably less than 100 games out. That's a good point. <laughs> Anyway, uh, the, the, no, news, 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 news. Snooze, you lose. The Wolf Among Us finale episode, uh, the release dates were announced. I had a trailer to go with it. Was there a trailer? I haven't seen that yet. That was released today. Oh, I haven't seen that. Uh, 8th of July on PC, Mac and PSN in North America, then Xbox Worldwide and PSN in Europe the next day, iOS on the 10th. 14 fans, Dan. Awesome. It's more than our YouTube channel. Uh, <laughs> uh, we've got a few more subscribers, so yeah. thank you, people. One of them doesn't count. One of them is you. No. One of them is a guy that I was talking to about the YouTube channel, and he was like, Haha, I remember you said Wet's Place, I'm going to go find it, and I'm like, fuck. He was like, I subscribe just because I feel sorry for you. I'm like, you're a bit of a douche. That is a bit of a douche, isn't it? Okay, generate game report. See, but now we can tell what was so bad about it. Uh, right. It'll be like... This is bad. We should focus more on this. And all that. And we also get research points, which we can use to research new topics. And new stuff. Gameplay seems to be not very important for this type of game. So what? What What do you want us to get rid of then? Get rid of the Ten. gameplay? Then yeah. What, then, you, what, what is a game without it's gameplay? It's an adventure game. But, you know, they didn't have much, like, good gameplay. What am I doing? What am I doing? That's not, that's not what I wanted. I wanted research. Duh, 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 duh. Okay, why is it giving me the tutorial still? Because it is. Okay, shall we research custom? No, we don't have enough to research custom games. Rhythm, alternate history, pirate, or game dev? What? I'm confused. These are topics that. Pirate? Pirate? Sure. I, I pirate. don't know. Yeah, go for it. Let's go for a pirate game. A, horror, a pirate horror game? That could be cool. Actually, we can't join up things yet, I don't think. No. Oh, so it's just a new game, is this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I started a new game. Oh, okay. So, this the is, this is a whole new game. development company. Okay. Uh, Planetary Annihilation has early access physical copy. Yeah, did you hear about that? No. Nope. In game in the UK, people have seen physical copies of an early access game. 
that seems extremely stupid in my my first opinion is that what my first opinion was what's the point but then I kind of thought about it it's not different from Steam but then again the market of early access pretty much exists purely on Steam and so it, it seems with the breaking out of Steam yeah that, that's the odd bit it's like you've got a place you have a home should we do pirate action, pirate adventure, pirate RPG, pirate simulation, or pirate strategy? RPG, I think. A pirate RPG. On I'm going to level up my sword this skills. This has slightly more market share, so I'm going to go for that. What should we name it? Pirate Poop the Hoop. I'm not going to type in... I don't think it's, lo- I think it's too long. Arg. Arg. The game. I should put some H's in there. You know, A-R-G-H. Oh, okay. The game. The game. The gay. The gay. Arg, Arg the, the gay. gay. The gays. This is a game about people being angry at the gays. And pirates. Yeah. Somehow fit into But pirates. <laughs> there we go. That's yeah, it. It, it seems weird that they've got like a whole... Not economy, but you know what I mean? A whole environment that is de- dedicated to that idea. And they're now trying to break into the physical retail. Yeah. It seems... I don't get it. When they asked the dude, like, the main dude that's the head of the development, he was like, they were asked, they asked him, why would you do this? And he was like, why wouldn't I? I Shit's not my sort of guy, but... I mean, YOLO, right? But when it... yolo in business is not great, Jake. Isn't it? No! Okay. You research and find strategies and patterns, and then you go, you don't YOLO it. yolo in it is how you end up in a backstreet alley giving butt sex for five quid. Sorry, what? <laughs> How do you know these things? I have studied business. I have finished my study. <laughs> what module was that? That was the butt study. Unit 23. Okay. Dungeon Keeper cannot be called free in the UK anymore. The UK Advertising Standards Agency said calling it free is misleading. Yeah, like, because of the fact that it's very hard to complete the game without paying money. So it's, it's basically br- quantifying the idea of free to pay... Uh, free to play, pay to win. Yeah, like because that is that is a, is a big a, issue at the moment in a lot of games. They the free to play model is something so new that not a lot of people really understand it. Especially EA, they don't get it at all. <laughs> EA don't get a lot though. <laughs> don't get a lot, like like the sex. They don't get the sex. Well, would you bang EA? As a company, no. I Probably say, got all kinds. I say of EA fa- fuck you regularly, so. <laughs> Let's see what I did there. Well, they don't fuck me. I mean, I, I Nintendo Cross by game. Squid's Odyssey. Oh, yeah. Odyssey. The first, uh, like, if you buy it on the free... This only exists in Europe. If you buy it on the 3DS, you can get it on the Wii when it comes out. The Wii U, I mean. Cool. Do you want to hear something? You're not going to get that game? I'm well, probably not. Actually, I might have said it's called Squid's Odyssey. It sounds pretty cool. Uh, it doesn't look very cool. Oh, well, then maybe not. But today was the release of... What? Pokemon Art Academy. Oh, yeah, it was. I'm going to get that. Are you? Yeah. I'm going to get the Chibi Robo thing that came out the other day. Fair enough. I'm going to check a nice little game report. We're at a nice time frame. Maybe a little bit longer. But... Do you have any more news? Because no, I, really. I wasn't around last week, so I don't know what happened there, last there week. There wasn't a lot last week, really, if I'm honest. It, it was, but long... Phil Fish is an asshole. Who? That's not exactly news. That's been known. But he was been, he's been doing more assholey things. I think that happened last week. Huh? Expand. Explain. Phil Fish, the developer of Fez, that's the one. Oh right, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That he was. Uh, yeah, everyone knows he was an arsehole anyway. But continue. He went on Twitter and was like, "If people do let's plays of a game, that's basically piracy. We want your money. Actually, I want, I want your money. That that's that's Nintendo, but upfrontly arsehole about it, opposed to just we'd rather you didn't use our games, please. Come on." No, it's not that he doesn't want you to use your game. It's that he wants the money from it. He wants the money. But surely if, it was pir- if he actually thought it was piracy, but like, just don't do it. People don't say, you can pirate the game as long as you pay us. They say, don't pirate the game. Just buy it. I'm sure a lot of people started pirating Fez. That's like... Fez is probably one of them. I, if I was going to pirate a game, I think Fez would probably be at the top of the list. Just to sort of spite Phil Fish. He's not going to find out about it, but just because what Phil Fish is like. Uh, there's been a lot of Guardians of the Galaxy news. Is there? Not news, but like trailers, leaks, uh, not leaks, posters. Uh, leaks of some characters, actually, what they look like. 
Um, yeah, we've seen them in trailers. Or do you mean like side char- characters? Side characters. That'd be the main characters. I mean side characters, like other interests within it. Ooh, is, it is this a new game? I'm gonna, no, this is a, a topic. I'm going to research alternate history. I'm going to make a strategy game, Dan. On the PC. Fair enough. That's where they belong, I guess, really. Yeah. They don't work on consoles at all. Oh, I also bought a game called Heroes Rise the Prodigy. It's an, it's not really a text-based adventure game, but it kind of is. What do you mean? Um, it's not in the sense that you were thinking. It's in the sense of, like, um, here's a page of writing. Here are your decisions. Pick. It's um. Yeah. Here are your options. Which do you do? Oh, it's like a pick your own adventure book. Yeah, basically. One of those kind of. It, that's what it. Things. That's what it is. That's what I thought when I bought it. And it, it's, it's all right. It's not bad. It gives you your stats from your um, choices, etc. It's all right. Uh, the trouble is, it's a ver- very text heavy, so you there's can... a lot of reading going on then. Yeah, it, it's this one's going to be called "In the Past, but Different." But different, I I see. And it's going to be a strategy it's game. Alternate history, different. <laughs> a text-based strategy game. No, I don't think so. <laughs> um. Yeah. I think there's not much else. No. Nope. Fish is an arsehole. Come at me, bro. Bring it. Bring it, bitch. I, I do think we should take this moment to thank anyone that has been watching our videos and like, subscribed and followed. We do appreciate it. We do. We love you. In, in the butt. I'd say not in the butt. I don't, <laughs> I'm not a big butt lover. I like big butts. I can't now. Actually, I'm not like big butts. I like, I like medium butts. Medium butts with defined shape without being perfectly bubbled. Yes, because bubble bubble butts are okay to look at, but when you think about it, they're actually not quite as attractive as you think. Not logistically good. Exactly. <laughs> this is why we don't get logistically laid off. not a good word, is no. it? Logistics is like transport, isn't it? Yep, it sure is. <laughs> are the drunk in the trunk? Get oh. it? Logistics. Oh, that's a terrible joke. I'm... I think we should end on that joke. <laughs> really, a bad joke like that? Okay. Let's, I think we should end on how well this game does. Look, the TES came out. There was a bit of my brother came what? in and offered me Chinese food. I don't like Chinese food. I, I'm, not, I'm not a big fan of Chinese food either. So maybe racist? A little bit, maybe. Who knows? I you was are, writing a book. You are you are Asian though, so I don't. Well, Does I'm it Chinese. Count? It doesn't count. Um, yeah, I've, you know I was writing a book. Yes. I've now written three alternate alternate first chapters. Really? Three different. Plus, is this going to be? I didn't, I didn't know how I wanted to start it. I'm thinking about keeping them all in because they could all go in there fine. They're not all the same thing, if that makes sense. One is the start of the story, one's like a bit of a prologue, and one is, um, like, backstory, I guess. I'm trying to work out how I'm going to sort them out, but yeah, I've been writing a book, and it's gone alright. Got a few sixes and a four. That's not bad. Not It'll bad. Do. Um, yeah. Can you, this, my PC's making a lot of noise, I think it's because the window's closed. Probably. I know a really good knock knock joke, but you've got to start it. I know this one. Ah. I, I think I was the one who told you that one. You were indeed. <laughs> Do you think I would fall for my own joke? Maybe, potentially. Prank, prank joke. Prank joke. Oh, I, I need some air in here. We should end this. <laughs> or that. That's been a... Seriously, I need air. Then, thanks for watching. Bye.